Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV, a welcome to highlights of AFC Russian and Diamonds against Deeping Rangers from the Chroma Sport and Trophies UCL Premier Division on Tuesday evening. So for this contest, the injured Russ Dunkley missed out, Alfie Taylor and Faisal Korea combining up front. And Diamonds were ahead just minutes into the game. Captain Aaron Parkinson stooping low to head in Matt Gearing's corner just three minutes in. But immediately the visitors hit back. Scott Ginty there with a snapshot that Finley just about got over the crossbar. And from the resultant corner, it was Matt Heron who scored the equaliser for the visitors. 16 minutes gone. And Deeping would continue to trouble the Diamonds defence there with a snapshot from the edge of the area. And the majority of Diamonds' chances were either relatively easy for visiting keeper James Doughty to save there or off target. So at half time in this contest, AFC Russian and Diamonds 1, Deeping Rangers 1. The pitch had largely dried out after a very, very wet winter, allowing some of Diamond's players to show their skills. And Greg Ling, at certain times, was able to go past his defender, although at times his final touch was somewhat lacking. And really it was the offensive players of the visitors that were most threatening there. Jamie Graham going just over before a header from Matt Heron went just wide. And before... Perhaps the nicest Diamonds move of the second half. Alfie Taylor nicely setting up Ling. Although the Diamonds wide man again dragged his shot wide. And then later on, Faisal Korea was bundled over. It could have been a penalty, although you weren't entirely surprised to see the referee wave away the protests. And that before another header from Heron went over the crossbar. So with time ticking down, it was looking like it could end up 1-1, although a difficult bouncing ball in the area was accidentally handled by Parkinson. Allowing the winner to be swept home by Spencer Tinkler for the visitors one minute into time added on. There was just enough time for a little bit of hope for Diamonds there, Alfie Taylor shooting wide. And so it wasn't to be. Full-time AFC Russian and Diamonds 1, Deeping Rangers 2. Although the result does leave Diamond still second in the UCL Premier Division. Let's see what the key men had to say with David and Bruce. Well, here I am with first team manager Mark Starmer following FC Rush to the Diamonds 2 1 defeat at home to deep in, in a pretty rubbish game. Mark, your thoughts on the game? Uh, you're right, it wasn't the best. Um, we got off to a decent start, good start. Um, and then they sort of turned the screw a little bit on us. Um, couldn't deal with their with what they, how they were playing. Oh, I thought they played very well. Um, ball retention in the first half was poor. Said that to them at half time. Um, you know they are a threat. Kept causing us a threat. And um, we just kept giving the ball back to them. So that was, that was disappointing. Second half again. I haven't really um, got a good tempo going or anything. They sort of dictated the play a little bit. And, um, yeah, we've had a couple of chances at the end and the shout for penalty, but I thought one, I would have been happy with 1-1. One, one. Um, they'll probably think they got what they deserved. Uh, penalty was harsh. It was penalty, but it was, the way it happened, it was a bit harsh. And a lot would see it out for 1-1, one, one, um, of which I would have been reasonably happy with having not played particularly well. Um, but it wasn't to be, so we move on. Yeah, we got a good start. Aaron Parkinson scoring uh, one of the goals that he's uh, done a couple of times this week. Did you um, think then we'd go and push it on? It was, a, it was a good start, and I thought, you know, it would settle us and we'd be able to, you know, control the game a little bit, but we didn't really. Uh, if we're honest, we, we didn't ever control the game for long enough periods to stamp our authority on it, and fair play to them. They, you know, they're, they're up there because they're a decent side and they, and they showed that today. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it, was, it was a difficult game of which you know, I'd have been happy with the point uh, at best because that's all we looked like getting even though you know, we, we could have sneaked it that Ling's had a chance and Alfie's had a chance near the end and the shots were penalty but 
over the 90 minutes, we certainly didn't deserve to, to win the game. Um, and they've nicked it at the end. Um, uh, Mark Gearing had to come off. He told me that he'd uh, pulled his calf. Um, you hoping he won't be out for too long? Yeah, as always, precaution. Um, yeah, he came out of fitness test at the start. Um, said he could probably do 60 minutes for us, um, which he did. And then we, and then we took him off. Brad's obviously back in, in, in the fold, but, you know, at one each, I thought, no, we'll just keep going. We're all right. We'll, it looks like we'll, we'll get a 1-1 one -one and no need to change it or, or force anybody in there that doesn't need to get on there um, for any other reason than to give him minutes. Um, but he wants to be. Um, disappointing. Well, the game's come thinking for us. We've had uh, three games in a little over 10 days, all on heavy pitches. We've got some tired legs in there. Yeah, I think so. But they're reasonably fit, you know. It's coming towards the end of the season. So if they're not fit now, they never will be. Um, they, you know, they should, be able to, they should be able to cope with that. No one's moaning about tiredness or anything like that. You know, it's just one of them, isn't it? We, have, we haven't performed today. We haven't done enough to win the game of football. Um and as I say, it looked like it was going to pick out for one-one, of which I'd have been happy with at home to, a, you know, to a decent side, um, but it wasn't to be. As ever in football, we go uh, down to Kempston in a couple of days. Don't take long to get back into it. Can you foresee any changes? Then will we see Russ back? Unlikely, Russ will be back Saturday, um, possibly next Tuesday. Um, obviously, we'll take it from there. But yeah, we we can respond on on Saturday. You know, it's. It's not all doom and gloom. Um, it's disappointing, um, but the season's not over yet. We've still got eight games to go. So we'll have to do better than tonight, for sure. Um, but realistically, that, that's probably where we are. So you know, we'll, we'll keep working, we'll keep doing it, and we'll keep trying to get enough points to finish in the top four and hopefully finish second. You know, that's what we're aiming for. Tonight's a back, but we've had them before and bounced back. So, you know... We'll certainly do that again on Saturday. And a lot of teams up the top have got to play each other between now and the end of the season, so the situation likely to change on a week-by-week -week basis. Yeah, definitely. You know, as I say, we didn't want to lose tonight. Unfortunately, we have. Um, deep in of, of, we've still got a game in, in hand of them. Um, so it's not all doom and gloom. We can still go above them again. Um, and Huntington have got to play a lot of size up and around there, so... No, we've just got to bounce back from that and, and um, get as many points over the next eight, which we'll endeavour to do. Um, but like I say, it's, you know, at the minute I'm disappointed in losing the game of football um, uh, and in, in the performance that we that we put out. But we'll move on. Well, as ever, we thank you for speaking to us and uh, hopefully we'll have a smile on our face on Saturday. Yes, mate. Cheers. Hopefully. Cheers. All right. Thanks, David, and thank you, Storms. And... Uh, once again, the final score tonight, sorry to say, Diamonds 1, Deeping Rangers 2. And I'm joined now by a man of the match, Faisal Korea. Faz, uh, thank you for joining us on what I'm sure has to be a, a tough night for you. Yeah, a bit disappointed. I think all the boys are disappointed. I think we deserved uh, a point out of the game. So to lose it in the way we did, yeah, it's disappointing, especially that we're challenging them for second place as well. So I like to say uh, football is the beautiful game, but it can also be a cruel game, and it certainly finished cruel tonight for Diamonds. Did, what did you make of that uh, penalty call in extra time? Was it a bit harsh on a handball? Um, I don't think he knew much about it, but then again saying that, it was quite blatant, so I don't think the ref had, had much choice to give it then. Still, though, even after that, uh, Diamonds almost came up with an equaliser in the dying minute or two of the game. Yeah, um, Alfie had a good chance, uh, narrowly wide. A uh, bit disappointing, but one of them things, I guess. Diamonds got off to a dream start. Uh, Parky with a goal in only the third minute. He had to feel good about that, but uh, what happened? Uh, deeping Rangers, no mugs. They really played you tight after that. I think when we started with that early goal, I think it settled us a little bit, and we should have kicked on a little bit and gone on and perhaps grabbed a couple, but... Yeah, it's just they're a good set. They're a good side. They're not challenging for second for no reason. So, yeah, fair play to them. So then, uh, indeed, Deeping got an equaliser in the 16th minute by Matt Heron. So it's uh, tied up 1-1 at the at halftime. And uh, what did Storms have to say at the uh, interval? I don't think we were too concerned. Um, I think we on, on the balance of play in the first half. I think we we deserve, we edged it a little bit. So I think it was just kick on in the second half, contain them for a bit, and then 
sort of take our chances, but unfortunately it wasn't to be today. Are you happy with the uh, the formation? The four four two seems to be working a little bit better, maybe than the what was the other one three five two. Yeah, I think I think four four two suits us a lot. I think obviously we missed dunks today, um, but yeah, I think the players we've got we suited for a four four two. So it's back into action uh, in just a few days on Saturday in a away match at AFC Kempston Rovers. Uh, what are your early thoughts about that game? Well, it's a good chance for us to put things right, especially after the disappointing defeat today. So. Um, as a footballer, you want to play. Uh, when you lose a game, you want to put it right as soon as possible. So it gives us a perfect opportunity on Saturday to do so. Well, finally, as we all know, it's a long old season. I think we only have about eight more games to go. And um, realistically, catching Spalding for first is, is a bit of a long shot. So I guess the goal of the team really is to finish as high as you can, realistically second place, huh? Absolutely. Um, until it's mathematically out of our hands, I suppose we've still got a challenge as best we can. But if it's second, then, yeah, it's a great achievement for the club, especially coming up last year. So. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Good luck on Saturday, Fab. <laughs>